In this video, we're going to talk about how to write the cost function, the revenue function, the profit function, as well as how to find the break-even point. So let's dive in. We've got a company that manufactures teddy bears for $1.50 each, and it has equipment costs of $2,500. Each teddy bear sells for $4 each. Can you write a cost function, a revenue function, a profit function, and then can you find the break-even point? So let's take this one step at a time. Now, some equations that you might want to write down or memorize are the basic slope-intercept form of the equation of a line, as well as your profit equation, which, remember, profit is equal to the revenue, the money that you take in, minus the cost, the expenses or what you spend going out. So that difference is your leftover, which is your profit, right? So let's break this down one step at a time. So for the cost, let's say C of X, where X is the number of teddy bears sold, it's going to cost $1.50 times X, the number of teddy bears that you're making or manufacturing, plus it also costs you the initial expense of the $2,500 for the equipment. So remember, when you think of the slope or the M value, that's like the rate, like how much it costs per teddy bear to make. Whereas the B, that's our y-intercept or our initial condition or our starting amount. And these were our starting expenses, the 2,500. That's just a fixed or constant cost. Whereas this is going to increase as you make more and more teddy bears. So that's our cost function. Now the revenue function, that's how much money that you're making, right? When you sell these teddy bears. And they're saying that we sell them for $4 each. So it's going to be $4 times the number of teddy bears that you sell. If you sell 10, it's going to be 4 times 10, 40. $40 that you're taking in. And then our profit is, again, like we said, the difference. So we're going to say P of X is equal to R of X, our revenue, minus our expenses or our costs. Now, one mistake that students sometimes make is they forget to use parentheses. So our revenue is 4X. Our cost is this whole thing. So let's put it in parentheses. Let's treat it like a group. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to distribute this negative 1 into the parentheses, which is going to make this a negative 1.5x minus 2,500. And if we combine like terms, let's see, 4x minus 1.5x is 2.5x minus 2,500. And that's our profit, okay, as a function of the number of teddy bears, okay, x. Now, to find the break-even point, what is the break-even? Well, basically, the break-even is when the amount of money that you've taken in is the exact same amount as the cost or your expenses going out. So really, that profit at that break-even point is going to be zero, after which then you start to become profitable. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this P of X here equal to zero, and we're going to solve. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got zero equals 2.5X minus 2,500. I'm going to add the 2,500 to both sides to get the variable by itself. Okay, and so you can see we have 2,500 is equal to 2.5x. We're trying to solve for the number of teddy bears that need to be uh, sold and made uh, in order to make uh, a profit of zero. That's our break even. So divide both sides by 2.5, and 2,500 divided by 2.5 is equal to. 1,000 teddy bears, and that would be your break-even point. So once you sell 1,001, then you're into the uh, black uh, in, as far as being profitable. And if you sell less than this, you're in the red, whereas you're uh, still in the, you know, basically you haven't made money yet, you haven't broken even. So great job. If you want to see another example where I talk about profit, revenue, costs, I'll put another video right there. Follow me over to that video and try maybe some of those problems on your own for extra practice. I'll see you in that video.